now the muddy bomb I see you frown and it's like looking down the barrel of a gun as it goes off Now come all these words Oh, there's a very pleasant side of you Side I much prefer, it's one now Laughs and jokes around Remember cuddles in the kitchen, yeah To get things off the ground And it was up, up and away Oh, but it's right out to remember that On a day like today When you're all argumentative And you got the face on Hey, it's Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com and I'm playing the classic, well I think it's a classic now, Mardi Bum by the Arctic Monkeys. Now some of you may have got to know me out there, some of my subscribers, through Arctic Monkeys lessons and it's been a while since I've actually made one, so here you go. Um, and I've really, really enjoyed this one and I hope you do too. We're going to be learning the rhythm guitar part of this um, and yes, I am doing it on an acoustic guitar, I know it's meant to be done on the electric, but I hope you agree, it doesn't sound half bad, it actually works. Works. It sounds pretty good, so it's a good sort of campfire strum along song. Um, I've made a tiny few adjustments, like because it's done electric, it's mainly done with bar chords, and we're only using a few bar chords. So if you can't play your bar chords, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in the lesson, and perhaps this is a good song where you can start trying with those bars, pressing down all those strings with one finger. Uh, so let's learn how to play it and get stuck into the lesson. Let's look at the beginning of the song. Okay, so this little picked part while there's a lead guitar going on in the background, it's quite simple to do. Take your index finger, put it on the seventh fret of the guitar, or if you've got dots on your acoustic, then it'll be your third white dot. Hold down the thinnest string and put your middle finger on the B string on the eighth fret. Eddie eight, dynamite good by Eddie, okay? And what you're doing is you're just strumming those two strings. Now what you can do to increase your accuracy is put your little finger as an anchor point on the body of the guitar and that way that keeps your hand nice and close to the strings as you're strumming. Okay, you can probably see that better from this camera here, camera B. So give that a go. So you do that one and two and three and four and eight times. Okay, strumming just the bottom two strings. One and two and three and four and then concentrating all our attention on just the bottom two, those two strings again, move your index finger to five or your second white dot and put your ring finger on the seventh fret on the B string. So it was here, we're now moving to here. Do that for the same amount of uh, strums, eight of them. So that's... Okay, easy enough so far, right? Then take this, this, I call this a shape, okay? It's a shape of your fingers. You know, it's kind of like the, the same pattern, isn't it? And move it down to the third fret on the thinnest string, or your first white dot, on the ring finger on the fifth fret on the B string. And do that for five, eight times. So we've got here, eight, eight here, eight here. And then the last one, hold down the second fret, on the B string and zero on the bottom string. So make sure that this finger isn't collapsed like this, that it's pointing up. So you're getting two ringing strings, eight times for that. So that's eight, change eight, eight, and then to second fret for eight. Okay, then we can get into the song itself. So the song uh, you, has quite a few chords with it. Uh, if you know those chords already, then I'll include a piece of text on the screen where you can skip in to the lesson so you can get started learning the rhythm, which is quite challenging itself. So I'm gonna go through the chords with you first of all. Now, on the original recording, a lot of these chords, for example, D, it's done as an A-shaped bar chord. I'm gonna be doing it as an open chord today because to be honest, I think it still sounds good regardless. Um, and then there's a couple of other chords like the F-sharp minor, um, which is played much higher up the neck. Um, but I'm gonna be showing it to you kind of my own way and keeping it close to open position. 
So the first chord is a D, index finger on the second fret. I'll just go through the chords. So it's D, F sharp, G, F sharp minor, E minor, A, G. And later on, you're going to also need a B minor. And you're going to need a couple of uh, three power chords, F sharp, G, and A. If you know how to do, do those already, then skip along and I'll see you for the rhythm guitar part and the structure of the chords. So let's start learning them. You've got your D chord. Put your index finger on the second fret on the G string. Put your middle finger on the second fret on the E string. And put your ring finger on the third fret on the B string. Okay, press nice and hard, strum the bottom four. In the song, that changes to an F sharp, which is played as a bar chord. So take your index finger, press down all six strings on the second fret of the guitar, nice and close to this bit of this marker here, this bit of metal, so it's just here. Then take your ring finger, put it on the fourth fret on the A string, and your little finger, put it on the fourth fret on the D string, and press as hard as you can, thumb round the back, diagonal pressure coming from the second joint of your thumb, and play all six. That then changes to a G played as a bar chord. You can do it as an open chord, absolutely fine by me, but I'm going to show it to you as a bar chord. Slide it up to the third fret, and then put ring, leave ring and pinky kind of where they were, but they're now on the fifth fret on the A and D string, and middle finger on the G string on the fourth fret. Strum all six. Okay. So now we're going to go down to an F sharp from there. Just take this and move it down one fret. So you're now on barring second and then you're on third fret and fourth fret with these fingers. Like the minor, but without. But now you've got the middle finger here. Okay. E minor is easy enough. I quite like to do it like this. Lift up everything when you're going from, because you go from F sharp minor to E minor. So lift up everything, keep these fingers locked together and slide them to the second fret. So you're on the A and D string on the second fret and strum all six. Okay, the other chord you're gonna need is an A chord. Once again, just moving this little block of fingers down. So pinky finger on the second fret on the B, ring finger on the second fret on the G, middle finger on the second fret also on the D. Strum the bottom five for that one. People do it that way, but I quite like to cram all the fingers. It's easier to get all the fingers in that way. The other chord you're going to need later is a B minor. So we're going to bar bottom five, middle finger on the sec on third fret on the B string, ring and pinky on the fourth fret on the D and the G, and strum the bottom five for that. Okay, so let's have a look at the order of chords. So the intro with the strummed guitar is D, F sharp, G, F sharp minor, E minor, then that repeats. We'll repeat for the sake of you learning the song. D, F sharp, G, as a bar. You can do it as an open. F sharp minor, E minor, and A. Okay, now with the rhythm guitar, it's like this. So I'm going to spend a little while on the lesson getting this rhythm guitar um, right for you because it is quite important. So the rhythm guitar doesn't just have strums, it also has mutes. It's easier to do with the bar chords, which is why the song is played with bars at the beginning. So I'm going to use my G as the bar as the illustration here of the rhythm. I'm going to do it really slowly. So it is down, mute, mute. Now to mute, all I'm doing is I'm just lifting up off the strings, not pressing into the wood, no pressure going on, but my hand is still sitting delicately on top of the strings to give this dry drum-like muted sound. So I'll show you that again, the first four hits. So it's, or the first three. Down, mute, mute. Okay, let's do it a bit more. So it's down, mute, mute. Rest of the rhythm. Down, mute, mute, down, mute, up, this, up, down, down, down. Okay, 
it, I'll do it really slowly now. That's the full rhythm. Okay, this time calling out what we're doing. Down, mute, mute, down, mute, up, miss, up, down, 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 up, down, mute, mute, down, mute, up, miss, up, down, down, down. Okay, occasionally at the end of the bar, I do mutes on that down up. It just depends, to be honest. Okay, so now let's, now you've got that, that rhythm, let's show you what you're doing with each chord. So for the D chord, you're doing a full pass of that rhythm. And F sharp, doing the same pass for the rhythm. Then the G, just slide this up. So we're gonna go. Now this time, we're changing halfway in the bar on the upstroke. I'll do this slowly, because it's important to get this right. So we go down, mute, mute, down, mute, up, onto your F sharp minor. I'll now complete the bar, so it's down, mute, mute, down, mute, up, this, up, down, down, down. Okay, then we're on to E minor. Now it's the same thing here, um, changing at the same places, uh, but it's E minor to A. So we go E minor. You might not be able to mute as well with an E minor um, because there's lots of open strings. It's not the end of the world. There you go, there's that rhythm pattern going from E minor to A. Okay, so after the picked part, this is the last bit at the ending. D, F sharp, G, F sharp minor, E minor, A. Repeat. Then we're into the singing part, okay? Gets much easier after that. You're doing the same order of chords, but you're holding them for um, a certain amount of beats. So the first one is holding for four. One, two, three, four, F sharp, two, three, four, G, two. So this is half bar, okay? So just like the intro, but we're now just holding them. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, okay? So I'm gonna do it with a bit of vocal just so I can clear that up for you. So it's D two one now then Marty F sharp minor. I see your G and it's like F sharp minor, E minor of a gun, and it goes off. So the E minor is also held for a full bar. And when you hear the line and it goes off, that's when we're going back to the rhythm that we were doing at the beginning of the tune. As it goes off, now come on is F sharp. Okay, so that time we're doing just like the intro order of chords. So Simon much prefer it's one now. So that's the E minor to A with half bar. Then we're into the chorus. Nice and simple this. G chord, I like to do this one open. One, two, three, four, A. One, two, three, four. So you're just holding each open chord for four beats. Laughs and jokes at A. Then we're on to D chord. Now what you're doing here, it's really obvious when you listen to the recording, you're doing two Ds and then two As. Quite short, so I'm kind of lifting up the chord like this. Okay? The kettles in the kitchen, to get things off the ground. They're then going to B minor, doing it for three hits. So it's D, A, B minor. Okay, then we repeat, all right? So it's G, up, up, and an A. Oh, but it's D, D, A, A. 
wanna be mine a day And you're wrong At G, argumentative A And you got the face on And then you're into your um, same intro chord progression Which is the D, the F sharp, the G, the F sharp minor, E minor and A Which I've already shown you, okay? So um, that is your chorus And then what happens after the chorus is, as I said, it goes into the instrumental doing the Verse 2 is exactly the same order of chords. The only other part that you need to know is the middle 8. So at the end of the second chorus, argumentative, and you got the face on, and I'm sorry I was late, or whatever the lyrics are, okay? So what we're doing is we're taking an F sharp but, uh, power chord. So that's index finger on the second fret on the thickest string, ring finger on the fourth fret on the A string. Now I sometimes like to use my little finger underneath there, but it is optional also on the fourth fret on the D string. Now what we're doing is we're hitting each one, I think it's eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So we're going from S sharp to G5, which is easy enough. You're just sliding this up to uh, one set of frets. So you're on three and five, two and four. So let's put that all together. So it's from the F sharp five, and I'm doing short strums, just down strums. Just hitting the top two strings. So F sharp five, here we go. One, two, three, four. G five. But I missed F sharp and then the traffic was a G. I can't be F sharp carry on this G and resonate so it's okay. F sharp. You clearly do, clearly do. So the ending is the only thing that's a little bit different. Um, so when he says, of course I do, yeah, I clearly do. It's half bar. So you're doing four hits for each one. So you go one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Then the solo is the same chords as we've already had. Then the only very, very last thing to mention is um, the last chorus. Oh, but it's right hard to remember that On a day like today when you're wrong There's a rest there, which you'll hear in the recording And also, um, they're not going They're just strumming and holding One, two, three, four One, two, three, when you're wrong Then there's a snare hit Argumentative And you got the face up Thanks a lot for watching this lesson. I upload two new videos every week to my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. Also, if you go to learnguitarinlondon.com, there is hundreds of free acoustic guitar lessons there. Um, so please click the link, it's in the video right now, so that you can go over and start watching lessons. They're always taught by me, Drew. So the other thing you need to know is um, I've done loads of other Arctic Monkeys lessons, and in the video description, I've put links. So have a look, see if there's any there that you'd like to learn next. Keep on playing, have a great day.